We can now omit most of the IO instructions, however, we haven't yet looked at loops, and that's going to be the fourth and final part of this section. So the first thing is to remember our lowering code, where we took a loop which was checking that the current value wasn't zero, and then doing some stuff, and we changed that to be a label with a conditional go-to statement, where we then did some work and another go-to statement. So we always check to say if it's zero, and if the value is zero, we then skip all our work and go to the end of the loop, otherwise we do our work and loop back to the top. So we've replaced the while loop with basically two labels, a conditional go-to and another go-to. However, if you look in IELTSPY at a loop, you see that when we do branching, so this is our go-to statement, we don't go to a label, instead we go to a memory location. And this makes it slightly more complicated because we don't know at the time of emitting this IL code what the target memory location is going to be. Which means we have to do this in two passes. So the first pass is we emit all our code, but we just jump to a dummy instruction. It doesn't really matter where. And then we go through and actually replace that with the correct value. So back to our IL generator. There's three instructions we need to cater for. So we've got labels. And as I just mentioned, we don't actually have any IL code to emit for a label for the moment. We've got our jump instructions. And the parameter of the jump instruction is where we can jump to. And then finally, we've got a conditional jump. Okay. So we'll start off with the jump instruction because that's the easiest one. So we need to uh, emit a branch, because that's um, the IL code for doing a jump, but we don't know where we're going to jump to, so for the moment we're just going to jump to a dummy location. We're then going to do a, um, a conditional jump, which is similar, but first of all we have to check whether or not we can jump. And the way we do that is we load the current value um, well, we load the tape and our data pointer and that element onto the stack. So that's the value we're currently looking at on our tape. We then load the value zero onto the stack and we then compare the two. And then we can store the result in a new variable I've created, which is just a boolean and position three. So we're going to store that in three. And then the way it works is we actually load it back off that location and back into the stack, onto the stack again. And then we say if that value is true, so it equals zero, then we're going to do the jump. But again, we don't know where we're going to jump to. So that's what we've got to source out now. And the way we're going to do this is each time we get a label, we're going to store away the fact we've just seen a label. So the key of this is going to be the name of our label. And the value is the location we currently are in our code. So the location is the number of IL codes we've emitted. So this is going to be a dictionary from string to integer. And then the other thing we need to do is whenever we emit a, uh, a branch instruction with one of these dummy uh, targets, we also need to keep track of the ones we're going to need to fix. So put this one instructions fix. So this goes the other way around because we know the current location but we need to say where we're actually going to jump to. And the same down here. And you want to make sure you do it immediately before the branch because we want to emit the the position of this instruction is ir.body.instructions.count. That. Okay. So this says the location of each of the labels, and this holds the location of each of the go-to statements we need to fix, and the label we're going to end up pointing them to. So now what we need to do is iterate over each of these and fix them. So we can do that right at the end by anything else has been omitted. Our instructions to fix. So this is slightly complicated. So 
the first thing we want is the uh, so the target label name. Is that its value? Then the target label location is what we get from our labels dictionary. So that tells us the location of our target instruction. So now we want our target instruction itself. So that is ir.body.instructions. And it's all at that location. So now, now we need our um, actual instruction to fix. Oh, okay, well, put the location first of all. So the location of the instruction we need to fix is its key. And then the actual instruction itself. is the instruction at that location. And then finally, once we've got that, what we need to do is replace this second operand with the actual target instruction instead of our dummy instruction. Okay. So what I've done is I've changed this to uh, admit our hello world application instead. So that's our hello world application. And that's working. So we've now um, able to uh, emit loops. So that's the whole language now down to IL code. Um, obviously, it's a bit messy at the moment in that we can only run it directly within the program. So we really want to be able to run it from command line arguments. So that's something we will look at next time.